team holiday after us winning the 2005 All Ireland final, and um, I suppose it's probably an idyllic evening, if you like, in, in a very relaxed setting um, in Neusna, which is part of the garden route in South Africa. And uh, we were sitting uh, eating our meal, and I got a phone call from home, mm -hmm. and uh, my sister asked me, "Was I gay?" Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously that was a, a bit of a shock to me. Um, and I asked her what was happening, and she said that there was a lot of rumours going around at home that something had happened on the team holiday. And uh, you know, I just asked her to take it easy and to uh, you know that I was a long ways away from home, and it wasn't exactly an ideal place to be having that conversation. So you put down the phone and did what? I suppose I put down the phone and I, I went back and I finished my meal first of all um, and tried to work out what I needed to, uh, what I needed to do. Um, yeah. Were you panicked? I, I don't think it was panicked. I, you know, I'd be that type of person that would, need, yeah. would try and work out what, what needed to be done. I suppose after that I, uh, I went looking for a couple of lads in the team and asked them was there anything happening that I should know about. And uh, I, I went to Joe Dean and uh, if there was something happening Joe would most of the time know what was happening. And, uh, you know, Joe said, look, there is, there is, there's, there's stuff going on at home. And uh, we spoke about it last night, he said, and uh, we decided that we would, we'd leave you alone and enjoy your holiday. Mm. But um, this is what's been said, and that's what's been said. And Time to go home then, was it? Yeah, I think, you know, I got a couple of phone calls from home, and um, the misfortune of it was that we, we were in South Africa. It was, we were preparing for three in a row. Um, it was ideal training time. Um, and I was due to go from South Africa to Spain to continue the training and preparation for the, uh, the all Ireland. So... Instead of being able to go out to Spain, I had to, to go home and, and, and face up to reality, if you like. Uh, was there anyone in, <clears throat> in the family home who knew you were gay at that point? Knew out and out, as it were? Uh, to be honest, Ryan, I, I always suspected that, that you know, my mum, for example, would have known. And, yeah. uh, you know, but I, I, I don't think they would have known out and out. So, it was... so you get home from South Africa. Who collects you from the airport? Yeah, my dad collected me. Uh, you know, How was that journey home? I suppose that journey home, we talked about everything and anything except what was being said, which is probably typical of a, a, you know, Irish. an Irish father-son relationship. And, yeah. uh, you know, it was as if nothing was happening. And uh, we would have went home, um, as usual, my, my mam, who would have had my dinner ready. And, uh, you know, I just said, this is something I have to do. And uh, I asked him to come down to the sitting room and uh, so how we needed to talk. Who was there? Who was there on the day was my, my dad, my mam. Um, my brother Connor, who was in the audience, and uh, the, uh, my sister Tressa. And what did you say? I told him uh, as it was. Um, you know, I told him that I wasn't into labels or anything like that, but this is the way I'd been living my life, and uh, you know, um, that was it. You know, I, I was upfront as I could be, um, and you know, I said that look, eventually, or obviously, this conversation would have happened at a certain stage, um, but all along, I just didn't think it was an issue, or I didn't think there was a need to have this conversation, um, and you know. Obviously, it was a bit of a shock to everyone in the room, and uh, you know, it was a shock to my dad also. And uh, it's 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 well articulated in the book the conversation that took place. Well, tell us the about two it. Was, tell us what your dad said. It, the, as I said, it's well, well articulated, I suppose. You know, which was my dad obviously was in shock, and uh, the first thing he said was that we need to get you fixed. And you know, <laughs> the, but did the, he uh, mean? Did he mean that? I think it was a natural reaction, you know, and it's it's something that when we look back, I know, you know, he, he was going through a very natural process. Actually, during the week, uh, one of his friends was, my dad is retired now, and they were out having a walk, and uh, one of his friends, and they were talking about the situation and obviously what was going on, and it's hard to avoid it at the moment, and one of my friends came up with a, uh, a bit of a classic to him in that he said, look, geez, Dan, what, 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 what were you thinking when you said that to him? Did you think you were going to send him for an NCT or what? <laughs> you know, so. What did your brother say to, uh, to your old man when he was walking out of the room after that big conversation? Yeah, it's, uh, obviously, brother was there, Connor, and he'd be very well able to handle situations like that and he, he put, put his hand on my, on my dad's shoulder and said that'll broaden your mind, know that? You know, so... <laughs> yeah.